To compete in phase one of the community's competition, you must register, create a team profile, and submit your proposal. This video tutorial will take you through those steps. First, go to communities.xprize.org to get started. Click the register button here in the banner. This will take you to a login page for our prize operations platform, or POP. You can create your login using an email and password, or register using your Google, Facebook, or LinkedIn accounts. If you create your login with an email address, you'll receive a message asking you to confirm your account. Open that email and click Confirm. Once you've confirmed your account, you'll need to complete your registration. This should take approximately one minute. Enter your first and last name, your country of residence, your nationality, and your gender. Then, indicate that you are interested in the Adult Literacy XPRIZE Communities Competition and that you are starting a team. You will now need to review and accept the terms and conditions for use of our site and platform before you can continue. Once you've accepted the terms by checking this box, click Submit. Next, you will need to create a team for the community's competition. Click on the Create a Team button in the competition portal to be redirected to the team registration form. Make sure the prize in the dropdown is the Adult Literacy X Prize Communities Competition. Enter your team name and again select the country and city where you are based. Remember, only entities located in the United States may compete in the community's competition. We also want to hear how you learned about the competition. If you're accepting new team members, make sure to check this box. Now enter the email and phone number for the primary point of contact for your team. Finally, you'll need to confirm that you understand that only organizations duly constituted in the United States are eligible to compete and that participating adult learners must also be in the U.S. Once you've done this, you can tell us more about your team by adding a description, your affiliations, and your social profiles. You can always go back and edit your team profile. After you've created your team profile, you can add members by inviting others to create a user profile by clicking on the Manage Team button on your team page. Now it's time to start the application. From your team page, click on Activities. You will see that there are seven activities to complete. Don't worry, they're each relatively short. Activity one is our terms of service for the community's competition. You can access these by clicking Start. Once you have read the agreement, you can sign it through DocuSign. The remaining activities make up your phase one proposal. You will need to write a 100 word elevator pitch in which you are asked to provide a high level explanation of your team's approach to distributing the apps to learners in your community and improving access to adult basic education and English as a second language. Your elevator pitch is a brief statement that each reviewer will read to develop an initial understanding of your strategy and approach to distributing the apps. This is your opportunity to make a good first impression. You will also need to provide a link to a YouTube or Vimeo video describing your team and your strategy for reaching adult learners in your community and distributing the ALXP apps to them. Videos should be 30 to 90 seconds in length. Make it simple. You do not need to produce a sophisticated video. Your pitch must be in English and we want you to introduce yourself and your team Tell us how you will reach adult learners in your community. Tell us what is unique about your proposed solution and explain how you would achieve scalable and sustainable impact. Activities four, five, and six make up the core of your proposal. We want to know who you are, what you will do, and why it is scalable. Tell us about yourself, your team, your organization, and your community. What will you do to create impact and innovation in adult education? How will you recruit learners to download and use the apps? How will you expand your reach to include more learners? And why do you believe your approach will work? Tell us why your approach is both scalable and durable, as well as how you intend to ensure its growth and longevity. Finally, we ask that you provide samples of recruiting materials. Anytime you start an activity, you will need to save it by clicking the gray Save button. If you click Submit, that portion of your application will be submitted and you will no longer be able to edit it. If you need to get a portion of your application unlocked, please email us 
so we can unlock it for you. You can reach us at adult.literacy at xprize.org. In the resources section of your team page on POP, you can view important competition documents such as the competition guidelines, scoring rubric, and an explanation of how judges' scores are normalized to ensure fairness, as well as a PDF of the application. To compete, you must register your team by December 8th, 2018, and submit an application by December 21st. You can learn more about the Adult Literacy XPRIZE Communities competition by visiting communities.xprize.org. You can also view other explainer videos about the competition on our YouTube channel. You know your communities and constituents best, and we need your innovative ideas for reaching low-literacy adults that seek to improve their English reading skills. Register to compete at communities.xprize.org. If you have more questions, email adult.literacy at xprize.org. Together, we can transform lives through literacy.